The FDA's Advisory Committee on Gene Therapies recently met to discuss a next-generation treatment that could potentially cure sickle cell disease, a genetic illness that affects roughly 100,000 people in the U.S. The process is called Exocell. It's a gene editing therapy developed through a partnership between Protex Pharmaceuticals and CRISPR Therapeutics. This would be the first FDA-approved use of CRISPR gene editing. The treatment works by taking a patient's own stem cells and editing to create fetal hemoglobin, which prevents cells from becoming sickle-shaped. When cells become sickle-shaped, they clump together in blood vessels causing pain and other complications. And while this sounds like it could be science fiction, the process is not too far off from what is currently the only cure for sickle cell disease, which is a bone marrow transplant. When it comes to bone marrow transplants, the best donor for a patient is usually a fully related sibling, but even then there's only a 1 in 4 chance that they'll even be a match. This is where Exocell comes in. The process essentially makes the patient their own donor. This process, however, does come with some downsides. There are lingering concerns over off-target editing or unintended genetic alterations. And while this hasn't been observed in trials so far, some members of the FDA Advisory Committee called for further study into this issue. And apart from those concerns, there is the cost. Estimates place the treatment as costing upwards of $2 million. Despite these issues, physicians within the sickle cell sphere are excited. They say that this process does signal a brighter future for patients with sickle cell disease.